boom, viewers, subscribers. But I could give my these quick updates because trust, if it's not far from King Mix Up, it's not credible. I keep on telling you that, and I'm pretty sure 99% of you have seen Vibes Cartel JLO's interview upon Fox 5 um, last night, along with his new pictures. Yes, we get a lot in one yesterday. Yes, I'm saying. And it should also be no surprise that Babylon is launching a multi-agency investigation to all the DJ was able to conduct such a viral um, interview. Yes, the interview went viral. You don't know the things that people bless up yourself, God's nation, you see me. Um, but it's definitely not a good look for the government of Jamaica, you know, being that Vibes Cartel sounded so intelligent um, in this interview. And let me say, allegedly, it's Vibes Cartel because who for no say it's, it's Vibes Cartel? Maybe it's someone that sounds like him. You know what I mean? The government was quick to put out stories saying, um, well, I should say they, 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 the government media outlets wasn't quick to put out that the government tampered with his phone. I said, maybe this is somebody else sounding like Vibes Cartel conducting the interview. But nevertheless, maybe this is Vibes Cartel who conducted this interview via through his lawyer. You know, maybe his lawyer got the questions from Lisa Everts. Visited Vibes Cartel, as lawyers do. Um, gave him the list of the questions and he just answered it. It's a massive. And his lawyer might have recorded it on a tape recorder. You feel me? I don't know if that's against the law. I don't think so. But it could have went down like that. You feel what I'm saying? But Lisa did say he she got a call from Vibes Cartel when he was in jail, allegedly. Um, but yeah, anyway, people, I, mean, I don't want to stay too long on that. But more on getting to some of the things that Cartel had to say. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, it, it it's definitely not a good look for the system. So he was asked about his conditions in the famous Jamaican prison. And he says it's dark, it's hot. It's like three or four bunk beds. It got a toilet in the corner and it's got a huge grill, lots of metal. It's like a dungeon, but instead of being in a cellar, it's in the attic. I'm actually in the roof of the blood clot prison system. Yo, son. Normally, they say, you know, they throw niggas under the cell in prison. You know, that means that use a lost case. Nobody no really business with you. You see me? I said, if you're dead tomorrow, your family wouldn't even know, you know. But he said he's up and out of the roof and things and things. And it looked like he don't have his own cell like most people was believed to um believe. He's living in luxury, flat screen TV and all of these things is amazing. He also confirms his health status. You don't know the thing said, um, big mode foot to hide this said vibes cartel did sick with some kidney failures and all of these things. We see that it was vibes cartel brought to the hospital allegedly. Um, you remember when he was in that white outfit and things and things. Well, he confirms that he was sick for a few years now, so that's an anomalous sickness, and uh, you don't know the things that with the treatment in Jamaica, especially with the prison system. So definitely he's recovering physically, but mentally he has always been in a good place. And I mean, and because he said he's innocent and he's coming out, so that's the most important thing. You know what I mean? Them can do whatever they want with the flesh, but the mind is is what they really want and to say that he's still holding it is definitely a good look um on his mental you know and this is the part where he starts talking about the system and you know the system was listening very keenly you know what i'm saying and he says yes of course i believe that meaning he's coming out and to be totally honest the system really wanted me thrown away it was never about me being charged for a murder. It was about getting rid of Vibes Cartel. He also went on to say, and I'm going to show you proof of his influence that the government don't like. You see me, I said, 
because they told us they say we have too much influence if you remember when Mavada and I had that little feud a few years ago we even went to King's House which is like the home of the Prime Minister basically like the White House you see what I'm saying now let us look at how the government um, was spreading their propaganda against Vibes Cartel while his case was ongoing yes this was before the appeal the matri um used the media outlets to make him look like a bad person through my act for reparations but they thought it was scam so on the prevention side we're trying to tackle a lot of what i spoke to earlier as the dysfunctional elements in the culture or the subculture of violence that has, has sprung. One of those dysfunctional uh, elements is we have tended to legitimize criminal gangs and criminal behavior. For example, coming back to scamming, which is one of my favorite things, when I became minister, a lot of people would say to me, why you don't leave the scamming alone? Is reparations for slavery, there are no victims, it doesn't do anything. Well, obviously, you know, those people have their heads buried in the sand. I mean, it's, it's really hammering our reputation internationally. Uh, it's feeding, we estimate, 40 to 50% of the violent crime, murders, shootings, rapes, assaults in St. James which is the parish, which is the, the sort of center of the larger scale operations. But I'm going to play for you some clips if, I, if we don't have any technical difficulties. Uh, the first clip I'm going to play for you is um, a, a song by Vibes Card. I'm gonna say, now I'm buying a gold. Now, that is a very catchy song, right? Now imagine the impact that that makes on the kids this side. They're starting to be literally brainwashed from their five, six, seven coming up. Um, again, for those of you who may not know, this is Vibes Cartel. He's currently a guest of mine in the Correctional Services. <laughs> and that's Gaza Slim, who's also a particular child as well. People, not to get off topic, put in the comment section, do you think they're going to let out Vibes Cartel? And he's going to start promoting people forget jabs with needles instead of jobs? You know, because they say he has too much power. And as you can see, Peter Bunting was saying the same thing. 10 plus years ago and we see that Vibes Cartel still has or gained more power while being locked up behind bars. You see what I'm saying? So I don't want to say what the conspiracy theories are saying, you know, because, you know, they say Vib um, Vibes Cartel's in the Illuminati, he's a Freemason. This is just to test him. He's going to sacrifice the nation like how Jesus sacrificed himself you know until one forget get the job the job them so things can go back to normal even though i don't know what normal andrew honus is talking about because we're still gonna have to wear a mask if we not do take you know what let's proceed and stay on topic and he talked about he has lots of songs he can't really count at one point i was sending like three or four books a month because when i write the songs I usually send out the books or oh, when I get visits, thousands of songs, really. And I know a lot, not all of them are going to be able to get released, maybe in the spam of my career, but I just keep, you know, writing and writing makes me better. And I guess writing is a form of therapy for Vibes Cartel being in that situation because music is his love, you know, besides his children and things and things and you know, even though we might not have his vocals to those lyrics, the lyrics can still be sung by other people. You see what I'm saying? And the message will live on forever. And the only thing on his mind right now is going home. He's not thinking about nothing else. You see what I'm saying? Because the time is drawing near. You know, the Privy Council is the last 
place he can go to look to ever get free. And I'm saying, unless some technicality pops up, but we don't know all the things said with that. And him say, yes, God saved the queen because she's the only one that can save me now. And a lot of people are saying, why well, I'm never beg Rasta or Jesus to save him. Well, <laughs> let me not answer that. I want to answer that in the comment section. And yes, people, he does be watching movies, listening to this, watching King Mix Up and everything. Because for me, I've phone life in a jail you have life outside of jail but i was just giving these quick updates from the bar and them bubbly and boy yeah boy them are investigate bad man you see me i say and them need to investigate why they pay wages is so low and all of these things big up the water them who don't get their money and don't know say investigation did i launch and things and thing with them barely full is it but just giving these updates like usual hit the like button a thousand times share a million times and hit the notification bell and press R because you don't want to miss the latest dance on news, music, or views, and gossips. Bless.